This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 43 years of practice and over a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Dr. Tom Rosell Live, right now on 105.9 FM WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. Indeed, we're live always for you on every Sunday at 11 a.m. in the Eastern Seaboard. You know, we do this program simply to bring you the facts and nothing but the facts. You need to know what's happening. You need to know how to apply things to make your life better. And we have a very special program for you today, one that some of you know a little bit about, but by the time we're done, you're going to know a whole lot about, and I have a special guest in studio, and we're going to be talking about thermographic imaging as it relates to the identification and diagnosis of pain syndromes, of all kinds of pain syndromes, and who better than the head of uh, thermography centers of Fairfax than Dareth Painter. Welcome, Dareth. Hi. Hey, Doc. How are you? Doing well. Thank you for taking the time. And, you know, we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, very not only interesting, but so necessarily applicable in identification of pain patterns. And, you know, we've been uh, calling on your skill sets for quite a bit of time to, you know, help us out with, with people who have all kinds of, of problems when, you know, other methods of diagnosis sometimes fall short, but this gives us a little different uh, look. It tells us, hey, look here. And But before we get into you know those syndromes and those patterns, I think we better start with basics for so many people is simply this. Dareth, what is thermography? So basically thermography is a tool, a diagnostic tool for practitioners to be able to look at inflammation and con and constriction because everyone looks at it and talks about the heat aspect but look at how the body's uh, metabolic function is taking place uh, where the inflammation is primarily focused on so the the best thing i can can equate it to is when you go to the doctor and 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 you tell the doctor well i have this pain but they go through their processing find anything Thermography comes in and it uses a specialized camera to basically record the body's infrared heat that it emits so we can get an anatomical picture of where that inflammation is stemming from. You know, it's very interesting, you know, when you look at pain patterns, all pain patterns have something in common and it's usually an inflammatory reaction within the body that says i'm here this is where i'm hurting yeah and even though that you may have pain in the shoulder for example in my field you know we're going to look at the neurological network that goes to the shoulder the shoulder might be hot meaning irritated inflamed swollen and the identification of that says okay this is where, but where it helps us is that if you take a thermographic image, if you will, a picture, we'll use the vernacular, right. of the spinal system, all of a sudden we see that lower part of that neck is really lit up. And that's where the, yes. the problem is originating. So that helps us diagnose it. Right. So you get to look at the whole body, if you will, to see what other parts, because the body basically should be symmetrical as far as temperature aspects. There's different parts of the body that should be warmer than others. But overall, the body should be symmetrical. And when it's not, when you have those pain patterns, um, you have to ask yourself, why is that? So we kind of follow the trail, if you will, 
especially in, in your practice, we look at all aspects to look at the body as a whole, not just the knee, not just the shoulder, not just, you know, a particular part, but look at what is actually influencing that pain pattern to cause that signal that the body's trying to let you know, hey, something's off, something's wrong. You know, it's interesting to follow the history of thermography because it really goes back decades and it was used many, many years ago to identify industrial problems, you know, cracks in, in beams and so forth. And then it became to, uh, you know, be used for other applications medically. And uh, and there's a couple different organizations out there. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that later on in the program. Uh, but here, therm thermography basically is a non-invasive, mm -hmm. uh, no side effects, uh, piece of diagnostic um, capacity, if you will, that can be used in so many different ways. You, you know, you do full body exams and you deal, deal with uh, the identification of potential uh, breast tumors and potential uh, other problems. But in this particular situation, thermographic imaging, taking a picture of the body to be able to determine a pain localization somebody who has uh, intestinal tract problems, somebody who has joint problems, somebody who has migraine headaches, somebody who has, all of these things can be identified by the application of thermographic imaging. Let, let's, let, let's break it down a little bit more uh, so our audience has a better understanding of what it is and why it's so impactful. And I wanna get into in let, uh, uh, part of the program the application of thermography relative to identification of COVID patients, which is kind of interesting. We've talked about that a few times. So let me just, let me touch on one thing. You talked about the history and when it started in the development. This is not a new technology. Actually, we can date it back to the uh, second century AD with Hippocrates. And oh, that far. He, he established, you know, when you want to look at a patient as to what's going on with them, he would smear wet mud over the patient and see what part of the body dries first. So if you look at that, he was, he was the first one to develop the, what we use as a thermometer now and thermography as an application of that principle. So it's, it's a long, historical process we've just evolved over time and the the applications are are far reaching at this point and as you said in in the world of covid uh we're using it uh for fever screening and we actually we've been doing it before covid um if you think about the bird flu and those pandemics uh h1n1 those were already in place um, to make sure that we could screen out people who unknowingly were showing symptom patterns of fever. So, uh, again, we'll talk about this, and but we know that now the organization that you're involved with uh, is uh, using a, a cooperative program, if you will, setting up cameras in, in airports and other mm -hmm. ports of entry and in uh, different buildings and so forth. But we'll talk about that. Let's get back to the application sure. of thermographic imaging relative to the diagnosis of pain. Take us through this a little bit before we get into specific pain syndromes and why is it so, why is it so applicable? How can you say, you know, this should be a, a at least a, a shoulder to shoulder uh, first line diagnostic with other types of care, uh, equipment that we would use to identify pain pain patterns. Well, you talked about initially that it's an easy process. There, it's non-invasive. Um, there are no side effects. The only side effect I've seen over 13 years is maybe a little bit of embarrassment or uncomfortableness on the part of the patient because typically they're disrobed depending on what part of the body I'm imaging because I have I cannot have a clothed person, you know, being scanned because I need to uh, scan the surface of the skin. So. You know, what we do in, in your practice is oftentimes when a patient presents with a pain pattern is we will take an image of that patient so that we can get a picture of that moment in time. And 
that way it gives you a visual as to how um, how that pain pattern, how significant it is with that individual. The patient obviously will verbalize it to you, but then you also have that image to kind of confirm and to back up what you're what you're evaluating. Um, so it's great for establishing a baseline of what that patient is experiencing. And then as you go through any treatment options, um, you know, you get to, to follow up and to look at treatment efficacy as you go along. So it's, it's a great tool because it doesn't take much time. It, there's nothing invasive or painful about it. There are no side effects. There's no cumulative radiation like you would if you went in and got an x-ray. So there, there's a lot of benefits to that. Um, the, one of the other benefits I love about thermography too with pain patterns or inflammatory patterns is when you have patients who cannot articulate what's going on for them, for example, infants, or the elderly who may have dementia, significant dementia. This has been an exemplary tool to be able to look and see what's going on with that individual. My guest in studio, Dareth Painter. She is the principal of uh, Fairfax, the Thermography Centers of Fairfax. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, I almost went the other way. But I know. Thermography Centers of Fairfax, and we're talking about using uh, infrared thermography to identify the presence of pain patterns due to the inflammatory process, the heat patterns that it shows up and so forth. And Dareth, I just, we just touched about it. We kind of been skipping around a little bit on this, but the, the camera that's used to identify pain patterns within the body is, is an infrared camera. It's, some, well, yes. it's something that measures infrared radiation, right? Yes. Or it's a heat signal from the body. Right. How does it do that? Um, basically, the specificity of the camera um, basically pulls the um, radiation that we emit uh, into a form that we can visually see based on color. It also does it in grayscale as well. But basically, we're looking at about the body probably throws out between nine to 14,000 uh, nanorads. And what we do is we take a picture and it configures that into a color band so that we can tell what is cold and what is hot. Blue and black being the coldest on the color scale, red and white being the hottest on the color scale. So super impactful. I mean, in my world, when you have pain patterns, some are chronic and some are very hot and fulminating and oh my God, it just happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. So something that is swollen and is going to be much more evident relative to the hot spectrum. Um, Absolutely. And, but something that's chronic and old might be, there may be more a diffuse, a, a yeah. more diffuse, more, it could even be colder too, if it's, a, if it's a degenerative joint and the only time it shows up is if the patient uses the joint. Exactly. And that's one of the things I want to make sure people understand is we're not, when a patient sees that image and they see orange, red, white, that that's, that's not the only thing we're looking at. We're also looking at areas of constriction where blood flow is not taking place. That is just as significant as the pain pattern of, of red and white. So you've got to look at the body to see what, what is actually functioning properly from a metabolic and blood flow standpoint and what is not. You know, when we come back into the, the last or the second half of the program, I want to get into a little bit of uh, the the different diagnostic patterns as it relates to migraine headaches and irritable bowel disease and joint space problems and so forth and be much more uh, on target with those. My guest in studio, Dareth Painter, she is the principal of Thermography Centers of Fairfax. We're talking about using infrared thermographic imaging to identify pain patterns. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live. And indeed we are, as always, as best we possibly can. My guest today, Dareth Painter. She is the principal of Thermography Centers of Fairfax. And we're talking about a very specific application of thermographic imaging. As we said earlier in the program, thermography identifies infrared spectrums as 
your body emits this radiation, if you will. And when we uh, talk about radiation, we're not talking about something that's damaging. It's the heat signal, if you will, that your body emits. Anyway, welcome back, Dareth. Hi. Uh, we're going to uh, get a little deeper into this chronic pain and back pain and neuralgia and facial pain and all the things that uh, thermographic imaging really can uh you know, position and, and help in the identification of relative to where it's coming from. Uh, I want our listeners to know that you are doing our in-house presentation, except it won't be our in-house, you'll be online. You'll be out of house. <laughs> out of house, uh, but all you have to do to register for that program is go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, rosellecare.com, and you'll scroll down, you'll see the, uh, the advertisement for this program. And all you have to do is go click and register for it. And we will send you uh, a way to visualize it. Those of you who are not computer literate, uh, let's see if we can make a different application for you. But nevertheless, give a, you can call the office as well at 703-698-7117, 703-698-7117, and tell them that you'd like to find out how to look at this thing. Dareth, we're talking about pain patterns. And we're talking about, is this something that is also getting into the different professional sport arenas? Are they getting into the NBA, the NFL, the, the hockey leagues and so forth? Have been for some time, actually. Um, you don't hear about thermography as much here in the US, but in Europe, uh, UK specifically, um, and other parts of the world, they actually do use it quite a bit. Um, if if everybody, well, I'm going to date some people. If um, anyone is uh, familiar with Harrods in the UK, the owner, past owner of Harrods was uh, Mohammed Al-Fayed. Uh, and he basically owns a, a majority of European rugby teams. He owns uh, a lot of racehorses um, in the sport. And at every uh, event for years now, he has had a thermographic unit available so that they can do real-time assessment of injuries of their athletes, whether that be, you know, human athlete or a, a racehorse athlete. Um, and the reason he uses the Metatherm camera, which is the one that I've used for the last 13, 14 years, is because it is the only one currently, um, unless things have changed in the last little bit, that was approved for human and animal use. But yes, in the sports uh, environment, it, it's great to do a quick assessment uh, so that you can take proper action for that athlete so you don't do further damage um, to them. You know, it's a fascinating area. I've been aware of thermographic applications for years now, ever since actually going back to the time I was in school. And, you know, when we had the opportunity to initiate uh, thermography centers of Fairfax and particularly putting you in the driver's seat of this, uh, given a, a lot of uh, educational background that you've had, the the application, particularly in something called, you know, uh, complex regional pain syndrome, which for me is just this juggernaut, a bunch of terms that uh, the traditional allopathic community likes to put on things. And it's, it's chronic arm and leg pain that develops uh, after injury. But what they say is that, well, the injury wasn't that great, uh, but, you know, this pain is horrible. And you know, there's the there's if you look it up, they're talking about a little over 200,000 people uh, on an annual basis suffer from this thing. Well, that's not just a few people. That's quite significant. And, you know, it, it requires a diagnostic capacity to be able to find out where this is coming from. But when you have an injury, you have a wrist injury or, or an elbow injury or shoulder injury or neck injury, and it shows this thing up, uh, thermographic imaging can it can be the divining rod, if you will, to say where this thing is coming from and why that nerve root is so inflamed and why you have the reflexive capacity. Uh, how often do you see something like that? that? You know, somebody comes in and says, my doc says there's nothing wrong, but you take the picture and you say, oh my gosh, here it is. And, you know, it's, it's infiltrating the entire nerve root and you can identify it very specifically. Right. We, so we, we're the only... Um, 
diagnostic that can actually visualize that inflammation and pain. So that coupled with the other diagnostic tools, such as your x-rays, your MRIs, all they all serve a different purpose to add pieces to the puzzle. We get to look, as I mentioned, real time as to how that is impacting the patient at that moment in time that we take the image. So if it's a chronic condition, yeah, you've got people who have high thresholds of pain. You've got ones that have absolutely no thresholds of pain, but the inflammation is still affecting the body. So we are able to visualize that, record that. So that way, depending on what the practitioner decides to do, you know, you can see whether or not it's it's having any effect. You know, this this is such a fascinating subject. It's one that we could talk about, you know, probably all day long in its, in its specifics, but we're coming up to a break. We're talking about thermographic imaging and chronic and acute pain patterns and all kinds of body pain. My guest today is Dareth Painter. She is the principal of Thermography Centers of Fairfax. Have a lot more coming up for you. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We have a very special guest and a very special program for you. My guest today is Dareth Painter. She is the principal and chief thermographer at Thermography Centers of Fairfax. And the program is visualizing pain through thermographic imaging. And it does make a difference what kind of pain you have. This piece of equipment, this piece of diagnostics has bailed us out in a lot of cases over many years where we weren't quite sure where the focus was. Everything from dental pain to migraines to uh, joint pain to wrist pains, to, uh, things that have to do with kidney function and bladder. Um, I was uh, talking to Dareth um, in between the sets here, and I said, you know, even women who have breast pain and they go oh. in and they go through all kinds of diagnostics and they can't find it, thermographic imaging will show the inflammatory reaction that happens to exist, and it tells you with very, very close specificity that there's no pathology there, that this is an inflammatory reaction that may be due to a nerve. And you know, just while we're touching upon it, there's a nerve that comes down to the outside of the breast. It's called the uh, long thoracic nerve, thorax meaning your chest. And if the nerve is irritated at the neck, guess what you got? You got breast pain. But having said that, let's go on and talk about uh, these other syndromes, Dareth, and how this camera can really pinpoint the situation. If you have a question for Derek, you can call us at 888-630-9625 and happy to take uh, your your calls today where we are live and uh, love to talk to you. Derek, let's, let's walk through this. Let's talk about visceral problems. We know that thermography is very important for us in identifying joint pain. We know that many of the professional uh, football teams use it. We know that it's a screening pattern, and we maybe we'll touch a little bit on COVID, you know, towards the end of the the program. But mm -hmm. when it comes to visceral conditions, somebody who has inflammatory bowel disease, somebody who has a a chronic cystitis or bladder infection, and but they don't know where it's coming from. And you know, when we're dealing with a a urinary tract infection, it could be kidney, it could be the ureter, it could be the uh, ureter, it could be the bladder, it could be any of the connecting parts. How does this, and can it, and how specific is it relative to its diagnostics? So um, in situations like that, I want to make it very clear that we don't see hard components or um, organs. So I'm not going to see the kidney. I'm not going to see the ureter. I'm not going to see bones. What I'm going to see is the soft tissue, um, how it's responding. I'm going to look at blood flow, and I'm going to see how that process is either at its normal homeostasis, where it should be, or if it's inflamed because of X, Y, or Z, and that's when you guys come in. Um, it's very helpful to have the thermography to look at how dispersed and where the um, intensiveness of that pain is, is manifesting. And then as we talked about, follow the trail to see whether or not that is the actual source. Um, you and I recently had a, um, your, your patient, 
who had a lot of pain um, in right, if I remember correctly, right side, um, lower abdomen yes. area. Yes. And you asked me to, to do a thermography scan to see if there was any other light that could be shed on the, the situation. And so, of course, you know, right side, lower abdomen, we always look at, you know, oh, my God, could it be an appendicitis because it was severe pain. And when I took the image where I noticed a lot of inflammation was up, up higher, obviously, um, and toward the right flank. So that told me that there was a possibility that there was kidney function involved with that. And so that was where you get to take that information and that visualization and kind of peel the onion, if you will, to rule out anything else before you send somebody in to do exploratory, if you will. Um, so that 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 is where the value comes in. You talked about the breast earlier. Um, oftentimes the breast pain that women are feeling are either hormonal changes, which we can see, fibrocystic, um, or lymphatic congestion, which is very significant for women if they don't know what they're, you know, what they're feeling. The, the immediate thing is, oh my God, I, I must have breast cancer. So pain is a signal from the body. We just have to follow it and, and figure out where it's originating, resolve that so then the pain can calm down and, and the body can go back to its normal homeostasis. You know, it's interesting. There's often times when I would default to a thermographic image before I would take an x-ray or anything else because one, as we said earlier, it's non-invasive. It's Very one safe. that can, you know, identify the target, where it's coming from. You know, even though that you can't see organs on a thermographic imaging, what you're looking at is pain referred areas. Exactly. And those are the hot spots, those are the neurological pathways that light up, if you will, and the thermographic camera, the thermographic imaging followed up by, you know, uh, people who are reading these things all day long uh, is amazing in its revelation relative to, oh, look at that. It's just like you said with this one patient that we had that issue with. Uh, it, you know, it's somebody who has a gallbladder problem, for example, or somebody who has a pancreatic problem. Uh, the thermographic image will show up that pain referred pattern and that inflammatory reaction. It will. It'll show the general area and how far it's diffused as far as the pain. So you have an idea of where the source of the pain is coming from. Um, I'm going to let you speak to, to this part, but one of the, the nice things about being in your practice too is that your Eastern medicine doctors have also found correlations when they look at the imaging to meridians and looking at patterns and that gives them more information as to a diagnosis and treatment of their patient, which I find absolutely fascinating as well. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the, the principal complaint and then look at the application of natural medicine or Eastern medicine or Western medicine and look at that kind of map, if you will, it really gives you a lot of information. You know, interesting uh, relative to the, you know, the subject you just brought out when it comes to diagnostics and where they're coming from in acupuncture systems and so forth. The knee is an area that, unfortunately, many people complain of relative to pain patterns. Mm -hmm. It gets swollen, it gets hot, uh, you know, it gets degenerative. And a lot of people don't know, many people don't know, if you will, that the knee is heavily influenced by the liver and the gallbladder. And when we have a patient like that, it comes in, they got a swollen knee and so forth, energetically, in acupuncturists or even the work that we do in applied kinesiology, we can pick up and we'll say, well, you know, I think this is coming from your gallbladder. I think you may have a borderline gout situation. And they look at you like you have, you know, 10 heads. Exactly. But when you, when you take the 
thermographic image of the knee. Obviously, it's going to be hot. It's going to be irritated. It's going to be painful and swollen. But then you follow it up to the liver or the meridian, the, uh, the channel that carries the acupuncture energy. In that particular case, uh, the liver starts on the big toe and it ends on the chest by, you know, the area of the liver. Uh, all of a sudden, you see that whole thing lit up. It's hot. Yeah. And you say, there it is. That concludes, you know, what I was just saying. Yeah, and, and, and you see that a lot with migraine sufferers. Um, one of the images that I'll show in my presentation is uh, of a young uh, boy who suffered uh, a migraine and, you know, very hard for him to articulate. Is it is it one side? Is it the other? Does it feel like it's um, squeezing your head or, you know, any of those things? So we took an image and if you look at it, at the point where it was most significant is at the gallbladder point right above um, the eyebrow. Yeah. And by that, by knowing that and visualizing that, the acupuncturist then could, with confidence, with confirmation, be able to treat that individual much more effectively knowing what the body's telling you. And yeah. You know, the, it was successful. I, I can say from from personal experience with that patient, um, I think they got a much better treatment uh, to eradicate that migraine by knowing what it is we were looking at as a result of the thermographic imaging. My guest today, Dareth Painter, she's the principal of Thermography Centers of Fairfax, and we're talking about the application of thermographic imaging as it relates to pain patterns, whether it's a, a regional pain pattern, it's localized, it's you know a migraine headache, whether it's a visceral pain like an ulcer or even an inflammatory bowel problem or any of these things, thermography has added an extra dimension, if you will. And if you would like to find out more data about this, you can do it in a couple of different ways. One, you can call Thermography Centers of Fairfax and make an appointment and get a thermo thermographic imaging done or simply go to rosellecare.com, R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, rosellecare.com and register for this presentation. It will be sent to you so you can watch it in the privacy of your own home and share it with other people. Uh, you'll have the code to be able to go in, to be able to look at it, and uh, then ask questions. You can always send Dareth a email. Uh, you can do it either through thermography centers. You actually, actually can go to Roselle Care and do it as well that way, and she'll happily get back to you. Let's. Uh, I want to move forward a little bit and talk about uh, the how uh, this this imaging is being used in the world of COVID today. So, a lot of people hurt with COVID. They have pain in their body. Right. So so. Um, obviously, with the typical um, scanning that we do, whole body um, and, uh, you know, specific areas, we check on immune function um, as far as uh, how a person's body is fighting certain infections or things that, that are out there in the world like COVID. Um, one of the things that I do is oftentimes I'll do a quick scan of an area that in the body indicates to us whether or not the immune system is suppressed or it's overactive, i.e. fighting something. And that's basically around the T2 thoracic 2 vertebrae in Eastern medicine. I think it's referred to as wind point. Um, so if we see what is considered a, a bullseye patterning, that tells us that the immune system is, is struggling or it's fighting, depending on what color and, and size that bullseye appears to be. Um, so that gives us a lot of information as to whether or not that's just simply, you know, someone's got a residual pain pattern because they've got, let's say, arthritis, or if they've got some type of infected COVID type presentation. Um, so for that, that, that is, a real time patient can come in, they can get the immune function observed. Um, the other application obviously, as we talked about is fever screening and you're seeing a lot of offices, a lot of um, businesses that are using uh, cameras 
to screen large groups of people so that they can then, it's the first level screening, and then they can take those individuals and do further screening to rule out the fact that they may, unbeknownst to them, be a carrier of uh, the COVID. Um, you're seeing that in all ports of entry um, in, in the US and airports. They do, when you go through um, uh, coming in from other, yeah, um, they're going customs. Uh, when you go <laughs> customs, um, you're being screened um, because it's you know there's there's no side effects, you're, there's no harm to you. It's just looking at large groups of people and making sure that that first line of screening allows to get the masses down to a more manageable group that they can say, okay, checked off this box. Let this you know take this one off to the side and ask more questions to evaluate to make sure that we're we're safeguarding our environment. So real quick question, we're coming up to a break here in a, a few seconds. Can the thermographic imaging identify uh, potential problems in lung and heart relative to its referred pain areas? So somebody, we know that COVID has the ability to go to these two areas and that's the danger. Uh, can you see that on thermographic uh, evaluation? Yes, if it's significant at the point of taking the image, yes. Um, it also can take it outside of COVID for a minute. Um, as far as heart, you hold can- that, Hold that thought, Derek. We're, we're coming up to that place where we've got to go into the next, next segment. And I know <laughs> if I let you run with this, we'll be at the end of the program. Absolutely. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. We'll be right back. Washington's Mall, 105.9 FM, WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. You've been listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live, as you do every Sunday at 11 a.m. on the Eastern Seaboard. And we want to thank you for being attentive because we try to bring you the most intimate information as we possibly can and accurate, if you will, uh, on everything that's going on in our lives right now. Next Sunday, uh, I'll be back with uh, more details for you on this COVID vaccine. As we said earlier in the program, AstraZeneca has already bailed out and there's a couple others. And the reason for it is the side effects. Many of you had asked me last week for uh, information and details and so forth. You can go to my Facebook page, uh, Tom Roselle uh, on Facebook, and that's all you're gonna find is this type of data. But I'll spend next weekend's program, at least part of it, giving you the background, the information that you need. My guest today, Dareth Painter, the principal of Thermography Centers of Fairfax. We're talking about the application of thermographic imaging relative to pain patterns. Dareth, we only have a, a couple minutes left. Now, talk a little bit about how thermography works in relationship to uh, chronic pain patterns as fibromyalgia. Yeah, we were talking before that one of the, the great benefits of thermography is trying to establish when someone has chronic pain patterns, is it something else or is it fibromyalgia because that has been very overdiagnosed, if you will. With thermography, we're able to look at the overall chronic pain patterns that the individual is having along with that immune marker, if you will, that bullseye in that T2 vertebrae. So if you have both of those together, um, you're looking at an active fibromyalgic pattern versus if you didn't have that quote bullseye effect, you need to look at other possibilities of what that patient is dealing with. So it, it's a great confirmation for the practitioner to say, I'm on the right track of X, Y, or Z diagnosis. You know, it's, it's so impactful and useful to every type of practice, whether it's ours as an integrative group of doctors, whether it's a traditional allopathic, uh, people who are doing dental work and applications of that nature. This uh, diagnostic imaging, this thermographic imaging can show and target and help our job and make it so much easier. Uh, ladies, those of you who have traditionally done mammographic imaging, well, We'll talk about that other time, but in our house and in our office, the majority of our, our uh, uh, female uh, practitioners only do thermographic imaging, and that's something else that you can talk to Dareth about. And you get a hold of her, as I said earlier, by going to rosalcare.com uh, and send her a note and she'll talk to you. Or if you want more, image, uh, more information immediately, make sure you register for this webinar. Go to rosalcare.com, scroll down, hit the registration button for uh, the 
thermographic imaging and pain pattern, and we will send it to you, and you'll have the ability to watch it online and share it with whoever that you like. And then if you have more questions, please reach out. Happy to make sure that you have all the data uh, that you'll need. Dareth, what are you going to have on this uh, presentation? What's, uh, what's going to be fun about it? So I'm going to obviously give some visual um, examples of what thermography shows um, and its applications from everything when we talk about pain patterns, everything from arthritis, dental, sinus pain, um, myofascial pain. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things out there that people don't realize um, that are impacting on their health. And to be able to visually see it allows you to, to move on and get the proper treatment. So I'm going to try to address all the questions that I think they may have. You know, it's important that you take advantage of these programs because we want to educate you. We want to make your life more impactful. Dara, thank you very much. You're and remember, welcome. we do these on an ongoing basis simply for one reason, one reason only. We love you. See you later. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step -step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. The Thermography Centers of Fairfax reminds all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Consider a thermography scan from the Thermography Centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Digital infrared thermal imaging is safe and non-invasive. For more information and to schedule an appointment, call 703-520-7591 or visit thermographycenters.com.